And we'll start with Jeff. Come on up, guys. You going up too? Okay. I guess so. Gotcha. What was the question? It hasn't been asked yet. There was. So you talked about what the government owns, and we rent everything from the government. I think we need to even go more fundamental than that. If you look at our Texas Family Code, the government owns your family. You see what the government says that they can do to destroy families at will. No fault divorce. There's no defense to it. When you come in a, in a divorce like that, the government apportions your kids to one person or the other. They make somebody pay child support and may not even let them see their children. This is horrid what's going on here. And when we talk about liberty, I think one of the things that we need to start talking about is the issue of the family. Because family crosses every political uh, affiliation. It crosses every type of person, every demographic. And we don't talk about family. In our platform, Don, you mentioned, we even have it in there that, that we are asking the legislature to rescind no-fault divorce laws. It's been there for 12 years. And last session, the Speaker of the House was not very interested in talking about family. And I think that, you know, when you guys talk about liberty, we've got to say liberty begins at home. We cannot let the government destroy our families the way that they are right now. I'll let you comment. <laughs> He referenced you. I'll, I'll talk to you. Oh, yeah. Well, I, look, I, I, I totally agree. I mean, the, found, the foundation of everything we are comes from the family. It's the foundation of our, of our faith. It's the foundation of our education. It's the foundation of our success. It's the foundation of everything. And the more governments involved with it, uh, the more trouble we're all going to be in. Now, look, this is a this is a, a, a socialist agenda, communist agenda from the very beginning, is to, to control education, control our seminaries, and uh, get a hold of the family. So, we yes, we got to keep bringing that up. Um, yeah, yeah, I I agree with you. I, in fact, when we were talking about how the government, when Senator Huffines was talking about how the government owns you, I was thinking they own your kids too. Not only because of public school, which you, you would definitely mention, um, no fault divorce you mentioned, um, which I think is peculiar since it's the one contract that doesn't hold the breaching party liable. Right. <laughs> um, so we treat it differently. We give it a preference almost over other sorts of contracts. We, we, we bring marriage down that should be brought up from other agreements in life. But when you look at, for example, our legislature, who knew about James Younger and his situation where a court um, was considering awarding his mother sole custody uh, so that she could issue puberty blockers at age eight, render him sterile and change his sex chemically at age 12, which he'd been doing since three years old. And I remember watching the trial where the mother came in, I mean, where the, the teacher from the public school came in, and she was the most adamant in favor of it. In fact, she would bring girls close to school for him when his, when her fa when his father would send him dressed like a boy. Um, so you see that through the school, through the courts, through the way contracts are treated, and, and I agree with you. Uh, we need to take note of that also.